What's up guys, Zgrix here. I'm back for another video. Today we will be looking at another abandoned house. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded. I've kind of been having hard times with getting through some of these places and finding abandoned houses that are accessible, I'd say. Uh, so today we are in Pennsylvania near a town called uh, Buffalo Mills. Things what they call it, Buffalo Mills. Turn around. This house is luckily a wooden house, or so what I could, what I usually call a wooden frame house, because it's obviously just made out of wood and just only wood. I don't know when this house was built, but I'd say it's built probably been built a long, very long time ago. Very, very long time ago. I'd say probably either like 1800s, 1900s, early 1900s. Probably, definitely the, probably like late 1800s who knows but this house is just made out of wood and just only wood <laughs> and it has a little smokestack right there the chimney the brick foundations of it there's a couple of stuff over here try to make this quick and clean so i don't get caught because it's been a while since i recorded a abandoned house this is more of an open area, so gotta make it like a little bit quicker. Anyways, there is a way to get in here. It's pretty simple. I'm actually gonna go do that right now. I wanna show you the structural foundation of this house. I actually went to the basement first. I uh, did a little bit of just like integrity check in this place, make sure it's safe for me to step around on. Guess I'd say it's not that bad. Oh, maybe a little bit. My, I think my uh, flashlight's dying soon, but right there where you can see there's no foundation, it's all gone. That is a side that I need to avoid or I might get hurt. Who knows? I am um, not going to bother going up these steps right here because this foundation right here, this branch, yes, it's literally being held by a branch, is about to snap. So I'm going to avoid that. Honestly, I think this house was abandoned probably back in like 60s. 70s or 80s I found some interesting stuff in here so let's go around and try to get into the window Me, I have to put the GoPro down. Okay. Looks like we're in the first floor. There's actually a lot of stuff in here, but. There's some really old things I've never seen before. Like this right here. Who knows how old this thing is. It says it's called a Westinghouse. So I know what a Westinghouse is, but... Who knows how old that thing is. 
There's a lot of uh, car parts or something on the ground too. A lot of bottles and stuff. Here's the next room. I'm guessing this was the living room. I'd say it's just a bunch of stuff I don't even know about. A lot of uh, wooden stuff. I'm guessing. This door right here was the original entrance. It's pretty cool to see how it's all held by planks, wooden planks. I'm trying to watch my step too so I don't get injured. Let me do this. There you go. Let's head to the next room. This is where the floor was collapsing. Right exactly right here where my flashlight's pointing at. So I'm gonna avoid stepping in that area. I'm gonna move over here away from it. I'm actually pretty light, so Let's say what could the worst happen? There's also a really old refrigerator right here, which I haven't seen something that old in a long time. I'm going to show you that in a couple seconds after I pan from over this angle. There's also one of the entrances right there where my flashlight's aiming at. That's also held down by planks too, which is pretty cool. Anyways, take a look at this old refrigerator. So I never seen one of these before. So I'm guessing this is called a coal, coal, cold spot, cold spot. It's a thermomatic def no, I don't know, def, def no tin? I don't know. If anything's in it, then I probably should open this, but. Ooh. Nice. Freezer chest. Sounds very classy. I'm guessing this thing is from like. 40s or 50s just by the look of this thing Ooh, that's classy even tells you what shelf is a service survey shelf cool I'm gonna close this. Sealed perfectly shut. For a Lord, I don't know, like 70, 60 year old refrigerator. Anyways, we're gonna take a look upstairs. Looks like it should be good. Hopefully. It's by the support of these things. I'm just getting worried about the angles.
take some very light steps because this is dangerous. Especially since the foundation on the first basement's falling apart. I'm pretty light as I said before so shouldn't be too bad. I weigh at least 110 pounds. At least 110 pounds. This is actually a pretty cool house to be honest. I like how the shade is going through here. It's actually really cool. Honestly impressed. It doesn't smell bad either. So obviously there's nothing in here. Just watching my step so I don't get hurt. I'm guessing uh Honestly, I don't know why that's gone. Maybe that was like an old staircase that led down or a ladder. Who knows? There is an attic, but... Body armor? Okay. Looks like someone has been up here before. Yeah, I swear these wooden houses are very sturdy. Yep, very sturdy house, despite the foundation going out. <laughs> I think we've been in this room already, yeah. Still cool to see. There's even there's these what are these grapes? I probably shouldn't are these blueberries? What is this? Should I even touch this? I'm not gonna eat this, but that's pretty interesting. I guess those aren't blueberries. They aren't blue enough. Anyways, next room. After I do this, I'm probably gonna take some pictures because, you know, I don't wanna be in here for too long. I'm guessing this is the last room of the house right here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the last room I'd say. Yeah, I guess that's it really. I'm going to take some pictures and after that I'm going to head out to the outside and continue showing you guys around. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back guys. Just one more view of the outside and I want to look around the area. Something wrong with my GoPros, like it's not staying still. So, let's see what's over here. So, I already showed you guys this side already. Fortunately, it's still overgrown, so you still can't really see much, but. take a little peek over here Let's see what's over here I haven't looked over here yet so hmm 
I see some farming equipment on the other side. So I'd say we went the wrong way already. Honestly, don't know what happened right here. These are like half a trailer. This looks recent actually, it looks shiny. That thing right there looks shiny. I'm guessing this was recent. Wherever this thing is. Cool. I don't even know what these things are, but I'd say it looks nice because I can't even walk in here. So, I'd say the last part is the barn as per usual. I'm gonna head over there right now. There's a the house right there that we just went inside. I heard a car coming through here. Right. Oh, oh, oh. It's a gutter right there. Let's take a little peek inside this barn. I guess I should wrap it up for this video. I don't want to stay here too long, of course. If you stay here too long, that's what increases your chances of getting caught. Well, I'd say it just depends on the area, but I'm not certainly trusting the Pennsylvania area and stuff, so. As I stop, I just try to hear surroundings. Yeah, I hear a little bit of rumbling, but I'm not sure if it's coming in this area. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't go in here because it's too unstable. But, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Hope you guys like the scenery, the open land. I don't really get a lot of those around here. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more. I have to get out of here because I don't want to stay here too long. This is Zekrix. See you in the next one. Bye bye.